Hey guys, I'm Adrian Bono and welcome to a new webisode of the Buenos Aires Herald.com's Trending Now, where we cover the most relevant stories of the week in Argentina and the way they were presented on Twitter's trending topic list. Now, I know that you're probably expecting us to mention President Cristina Fernández de Kirchner's recent incursion into the English language via Twitter and Facebook, but honestly, there's not much more that we can say about it. So she said, oh my God, in a tweet, that's a big deal. It's not like she said, Viva Las Falklands. Did I cross the line with that one? Let's just go to trending topic number three, Maradona. That's right, the best football player in the world, at least according to those who care about that stuff, is making waves again after he recently came out in favor of Cristina after meeting with her in Abu Dhabi and having an asado with the presidential staff while she's touring the Middle East. Controversial as usual, he urged the Argentine population to support the president because only some used to get a lot in the past, but now many more people have that chance, and that's thanks to the people in power, especially the president and Nestor Kirchner, who got us out of the well. He also criticized politicians in the opposition by assuring that they are the same as always, those who were raised in a crib of gold but don't even know how to make a stew. That's so nice to him. No, really. I mean, in the past he has been friends with every president since the return of democracy in 1983. But still, that's very nice of him. You don't believe me? Here, take a look. <laughs> A celebration of democracy right there. Trending topic number two is Dollar Blue. And this is a little sketchy because the so-called Dollar Blue should actually be called Dollar Black, since this is the euphemistic way of referring to the black market exchange rate of the American currency. You know, the one some get when they want to circumvent the AFIP tax agency that's illegal, you know. Anyway, the dollar blue exchange rate, wink wink, reached 7.5 pesos this week, which represents a 10% increase since the beginning of 2013 and a 51.2% difference with the official exchange rate currently at 4.9 pesos. However, central bank governor Mercedes Marco del Pont recently explained that the sudden increase is only seasonal and it is explained by a larger demand for US dollars by people traveling abroad for the holidays. And finally, we are almost done with trending topic number one, INDEC. As probably many of you or none of you know, the INDEC is the national statistics agency that measures inflation. It has also become somewhat of a controversial figure in the last few years after accusations of cooking up inflation numbers. The reason why it trended this week is because according to recent inflation data published by the INDEC 2012, so a 10.8% inflation. This of course is still far below independent estimates of about 25% that put the country's inflation rate as the highest in Latin America. So as usual, it is up to you to believe whoever you want to believe. And as the president is under pressure from the International Monetary Fund to improve the country's widely discredited inflation data, the IMF is scheduled to meet later this month to discuss Argentina's progress. Now, I'm sorry that this week it was mostly depressing news about the economy, but it's the summer, which means that it's slow news season, so there's nothing I can do. Maybe we should have focused on the president's tweets in English, as I recommended. But I guess that now we're out of time, right? Yes, we're out of time. Please remember to follow us on Twitter and Facebook and to check our website, buenosairesherald.com, for additional information. As usual, it's a pleasure to know that you're watching on the other side. I hope you're watching. And I'll see you next Thursday. Enjoy the weekend. Bye.